We have three cases in writing the equation of a line using the slope-intercept form. We're done with case one and case number two. Now we're going to be working on examples on how to write the equation of a line given two points. And we're going to have those examples today. Now for this case, we have to write the equation of a line that's passing through points 3, 9, and 2, 4. Now the first step in uh, case number 3 is to find the slope of the given line because now that we have the two points, we can easily find the slope by using the slope formula. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And by labeling our two points, the first point will be our first sets of x and y, and the second point will have x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now by direct substitution to our formula, we'll have m equal to 4 minus 9 all over 2 minus 3. And by simplifying our fraction, we'll have negative 5 all over negative 1, which gives us m equal to 5. So in our first step of finding the slope, the slope of these two points will be m equal to 5. Now for the second step, we will need our y-intercept because in writing the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, we need our slope and the y-intercept. We have found the first half of what we need to write the equation of a line. We need to find the y-intercept this time by using our slope, which is m equal to 5 from step number 1, and picking between these two points to replace x and y in our equation, y equal to mx plus b. So in my step number two, I chose three and nine as, our, as, as the point that I will use to find my y-intercept. So by direct substitution from the formula y equal to mx plus b, I will replace y, m, and x by these values right here. So I'll have 9 equal to 5 times 3 plus b, which gives me 9 equal to 15 plus b, which gives me b equal to negative 6 by subtracting 15 on both sides. So now I found my y-intercept, which is b equal to negative 6. So now that I have my slope, and now that I have my y-intercept, I am ready to write the equation of a line. Now, before I move on to step number 3, I just want to uh, reiterate that it doesn't matter which point you pick. You can pick 3, 9 to be your point in using the slope-intercept form in finding this y-intercept, or you can also use 2 and 4. Now, what will happen if you use 2 and 4 instead of 3 and 9? Will you still have b is equal to negative 6 as your answer? And the answer to that question is true. Because here, I use 2 and 4 as my point for my y equals mx plus b in finding the y-intercept. And by direct substitution and solving for b, I found out that my b is still equal to negative 6. So it doesn't really matter which point you use. 3, 9, or 2, 4, you will still get the same y-intercept using the same formula. Now, for step number 3 in writing the equation of a line, since I have my slope and my y-intercept, I'm ready to change my m and b so I can have the equation of my line, which is y equal to 5x minus 6. And this is the equation of a line given 3, 9, and 2, 4. Now, for the second example, we need to write the equation of a line on the point 9, 2, and 10, 6. So to recall the steps that we did on example number 1, the first step is to find the slope using the formula. The second step is to find the y-intercept using the slope-intercept form. And once we found step 1 and step 2, we are now ready to write the equation of a line on step number 3 by replacing m and b by the given m and b on our step number 1 and 2. Now let's have that work in this example. So x sub 1 is 9, x sub 2 is 10, y sub 2 is 6, and y sub 1 is 2 in this particular example. Now for step number 1, we need to find the slope of the equation of a line. And by direct substitution for the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we'll have the slope of the line given two points, and this will give us 4 all over 1. Now 4 all over 1 can be simplified, so therefore our slope is equal to 4. So now that we have found our slope, we can find our y-intercept by 
using one of the points, either A or B. This time I'm going to use A as my point, and by using my slope-intercept form formula, I will replace Y, M, and X so that I will find B. And by doing so, by simplifying my equation, I'll be able to solve for B, which gives me negative 34. And that will be my y-intercept. Now I'm ready for step number three, which is writing the equation of a line by using the form y equals mx plus b. And by replacing m and b, my equation of a line will be equal to y equals 4x minus 34. And that is case number three in writing the equation of a line given two points.